at your wits end trying to provide your children healthy, balanced lunchbox ideas and trying to satisfy their picky ways. Well, we've got some awesome solutions for you. And it's so important because sometimes our kids are eating three of their five to six daily meals that they need away from home. It'll help make sure that they grow correctly, that they're able to concentrate and also to avoid behavioral disorders. Kids are so different to us. They eat with their eyes. You've got to make their lunchbox as interesting and cute and innovative as possible. They like small little things because their tummies are much smaller than ours as opposed to eating one big meal. So try and put lots of ideas into containers so when kiddies open up their lunchbox, it's almost like a little surprise. Each box is a new gift. Once you've packed the lunchbox, you just pop it into your cooler bag with an ice brick, some chilled water, serviettes and some plastic cutlery. And pack cleverly. If they're going to have three of their meals away from home, put the afternoon meal at the bottom, the lunch in the middle, and their first snack on top. Also make sure that the fresh stuff, the fruits and salads, are right at the top so that they have to eat through that before they get to the starch and the protein. Food groups and portion control are as important in kids as they are in adults. Kids can't just eat however much and whatever they want to. Absolutely. So a balanced lunch would look something like this. Half of the meal, would be full of colour. Colour would come from fresh fruit, dried fruits, salads, crudités, and then a quarter would be your starch, ideally low GI, higher fibre if you can, like popcorn, homemade granola, the right type of breads like low GI bread or whole wheat bread or sweet or savoury low GI biscuits. Cool. And then the other quarter will come from your lean proteins. Things like boiled eggs are a great source of protein. Your low fat cottage cheese, your lean cold meats, chicken strips that you've done at home with a little bit of olive oil, homemade hamburger patties are great. Kids absolutely love those. Little portion of yogurt, so make sure that is only 175 mils maximum or some tuna that's been mixed with mayonnaise or even cut up your egg with mayonnaise in a little container and a fork. They can simply eat out of a container. To finish off a lunchbox, you need one serving of fat. And if your kids don't like nuts, seeds or avocado in their sandwich, then you have to hide the fat somewhere else. Like in the meats, a little bit of peanut butter, some grated cheese or some mayonnaise. Sandwiches are often a mainstay of a lunchbox. I remember growing up on sandwiches of cheese and tomato. Mm, and peanut butter and syrup. <laughs> Quite boring, so let's move on from that. We've got three interesting concoctions to share with you. How about trying some peanut butter, but mixed with raisins or sultanas, or even some sliced banana? A nice combination is grated gouda cheese, some chopped up walnuts, and a little bit of apricot jam. A third option is to take fresh apple, chop it, add some pecan nuts and some mayonnaise. What's so nice about these three options is that you can actually make more than what you need for one sandwich and then keep it in the fridge. Children are growing so quickly that every meal and snack contributes to their development. The parents, it is your responsibility to make sure that your kids' lunchboxes are balanced. It is critical to their well-being and ultimately their performance.